have released the dog. I blow a Rick the camera, do a 100% camera, bro. Yo. No one else will go hard, I will do a fucking damage. Yo. Can't maintain, contain my flow. I need to play a game for sure. Maybe RTS or RPG or maybe even MMM. Howdy, howdy, and welcome back to another Lucid Adventure Idol RPG video. And I need you to hit that like and subscribe buttons because I post content daily, daily. All right. So, we are back for some more of this beginner progression series of ours where we go back to square one and show you guys exactly our methods and our madness to get through this thing game quickly as possible. So, as you just saw, we did just did our third coin for our experience run. We're about to pop our ticket for today. Let's go in here, pop our shop ticket. <clears throat> Oops, wrong area. So we got our shop ticket. Let's get ourselves a little bit of volume here so we can kind of hear somewhat of what's going on in the background. So we got ourselves our shop ticket. We should be getting somewhere over 1C here. So we're going to claim that. <clears throat> we're reaching our ceiling on everything right now as well. <clears throat> so we're going to claim that. We'll come back. So this is where we are right now. We happen to be above 80 in our origin. We probably should do our origin. We're going to do our origin before we do a run. But you see that we are at the 6K mark. Remember from last time we were saying we was going to hit the 6K back out. So everything's successful. We've been collecting tickets every single day. Because once you hit 6K, you leave out and you just don't get above. We've been gradually starting to hit the ceiling in Cobalt and Dan Dan. So I want to make it to our 14 day. I think we have like three, two, three more days. We can actually check that out when we do this origin run. So let's make sure we... Oh, we don't want to refresh, do we? No, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because we're not going to do all of these runs to 80. Because you got to get past 100 to be able to get karma if you do the insta clear. And since we're not past 100, we have to manually do all 10 runs. And that will take some time to get ourselves to 80 each time. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on in so we can show you guys where we are right now in our origin <clears throat> so you're gradually going to get up in origin it's not something that you're going to purely focus uh right right away but you're just going to gradually do it as you progress and you get through the series just to get you as far as you can so you can start getting that karma you see we still have our five tickets from our seven day we're going to hold on to these because we don't want to waste them we're just going to hold on to them so once we do start pushing past 6k like i said i think in a previous video we might do a ticket at 7k 8k 9k 10k and then like hold on until we really doing high pushes and just to get the most experience that we can possible so we can push our account forward so let's look here <clears throat> yeah see we got two more days until we get our next five tickets so so we're getting close to that 14 and we're just kind of hovering chilla. We haven't really been leveling too much of our team and further as our progression go. I think still our only level 30 character is Choco BB. Everybody else has just been kind of like leveled up to 20 and we haven't put a lot into our team skills just so we don't bully through the enemy. As you see right here, we're sitting on 12C experience. We're just stacking it. We're just stacking it because once we do, once we do, hopefully if we have no mistakes we're able to make it to our 14 day once we get to our 14 day get our last get our last ticket uh, before we push past 6k once we push past 6k that's when that's when we're going to put all this experience into our team and build ourselves accordingly i'm i'm not quite sure exactly what we're going to do in that regards yet so once I make that push and that stride, I'm definitely going to talk about, uh, uh, definitely going to talk about my thought process and exactly what we're doing for that. We are still currently in the Valentine's event. I think I've gotten both of the costumes. Uh, I didn't get the Choco BB one. I don't think I got that one. Uh, it is. It's because I, I want to put my gems in, in in other in other areas. If you can get it, get it. But because it is limited but it's like uh, uh. i know a lot of people would disagree with me on that one back me saying like no you know don't really do it but if you can get it get it 
because it is extra stats it's just not the most important like i'm not really i don't i'm like me personally i'm not really caring how much i warp across the i'm more how much i warp across the map because i'm not paying attention to it because i'm just putting putting the work in putting the grind in and my progression doesn't stop yeah it's going to make me slightly better on average but it doesn't stop me from progressing so it's not something i deem as the most important and then i'm not using really choco bb for anything other than warping and most of you probably are like the same you're not really using them from uh for uh things other than warp and some people do use them in their in, in their pvp but pvp and then some people use them in their subjugation which that does make sense he's pretty decent from what i've been seeing other people do for subjugation but i haven't really did any tests myself so i'm not going to give you like my my full-on thought process because i haven't seen it firsthand you know because that's just how we do things here so I really don't want to talk that much about the event like that other than we are working on the prize boxes we knocked the 70 percent one out we got all of the gems and the tickets out of here like all of yeah see this is all of what we did we got the costume prize boxes tickets gems so that's pretty much it this is not even translated <laughs> hilarious but uh <laughs> that's pretty much that I think we might continue with the prize boxes. The off chance we get a prize is actually worth the investment in the gems. Now that I look at it, it's like prizes are hard to come by. So wasting that time and not getting prizes is kind of detrimental. Uh, I would like to get the the mine kits just because that extra karma is, will be helpful and probably at the very least the wings. But, but other than that, I probably wouldn't touch anything else in here. I don't think unless we just have some left over for us to do something like that but that's just as far as this, this valentine's event go if we're doing that pvp time let's get it let's get it oh we're about to get those hands put on us yeah at least we die fast i hate those long drawn out pvp matches that like waste up so much time <laughs> especially when i'm recording all right so <clears throat> I don't think we're that far in the Nightmare Tower. I think I need to be pushing that because I haven't really touched it that much on this account. So I need to be pushing that. As far as our or as far as our abandoned mine go, we as high as 43 right now. Right now, we haven't really went too hard into it. We'll let them just figure that out. Yeah, let them figure that out. Um, I did disband the alternate guild and just put my alternate account in the main guild, so that is a thing as well. Like, to be completely honest, there's really not a lot going on for the account per se for the account per se really the thing we're just focusing on is just gathering up as much experience as possible if you level up things that's fine if you don't that's fine but you just want to gather up as much experience as possible because you're going to be putting your experience into your teams going forward you want to like jump uh, a lot of experience in moving forward we still have a lot of costumes that we have to get but we're going to gradually start grabbing grabbing more of the costumes as we go along because we don't have like close to all of them but we do have a few few of them in our in our possession just not all of them in our possession so we're getting there slowly but surely i mean i have enough to buy now but i'm just gonna wait it out because <clears throat> i've been kind of far fo focusing in on our karma a little bit so that's the kind of decisions that you will be making is like all right do i want to get this or do i want to get that both things are going to be good but ultimately you still have to choose one so at some point you will be able to get them both but you will have to choose one <clears throat> as far as costumes go at this point for this account and for people that's at this point point in range you just want to just grab grab just about what is i mean i could give like some recommendations on what would be the best thing the best you know whatever gives you your still gives you your team power bonus or your weakening and stuff like that that'll be good if subjugation is an important factor for you and your guild at that time or for you for your guild then you will go for those things like that like this would be a good one for me to grab right now just to boost my my progression for for myself we have that just 
just a just a little things like that like the monster weekend in here that'd be good for us that'd be good for us but this is like the stuff that we'll be wanting like kind of like once we get past the 6k mark because giving us this extra power now is just going to help it's just going to make it harder for us to stay under when we're already over a certain threshold of power so we've been kind of like being laxed about how we choose what we what we build and what we love what we level we've been getting some decent levels into our weapons and everything i believe our i believe our acquisition time as you saw before i exit that we hit max level we hit max uh power up so our this are we yeah we are on our go so like like we are able to hit our max uh, character, max power, which is 1774, uh, with this amount of time down relatively decently. We do still have those humps where we have to wait. So that's a good thing because it's going to take a while for you to get over that max, that ma uh, that ability to get to your max power up is going to take quite a bit of time. But once you get enough acquisition time down, you'll be good. We can actually go into the shop and start looking at some of our god's blessings and what we've been focusing on we've been trying our best to keep our experience in our weekend monster max not that hard since we're not pushing our level right now we haven't put much into our movement speed i'll probably throw a couple points in there i don't really deem it as the most important thing because it's like the way i gauge time in this game is movement speed doesn't give you a lot of uh, of a lot of actual speed for your progression so i don't see it as the most important thing unless you're just trying to be some super man max and everything but even then i don't think it's still like the the best thing because a lot of us still got other things that we have going on in our life as well so so this is not going to benefit you uh, as much as you think it would it's beneficial but just not as much as you think we did put a few points in our acquisition time we just got it to eight because at eight it started costing 500 we didn't do anything past that yeah uh, so we we're able to get our time down pretty much almost without even having this for the most part we didn't we didn't level it up to get our time down to one second to be able to get us to max character max power up but we did like already kind of have it leveled there and we just mostly focused in on our weapons to get us that we do got our madness time uh, increased a bit just so we could be in madness for a little bit longer this is going to help us with our subjugation as well as clearing some floors later on down the line having a longer madness time is going to be beneficial in that part we did put some into our water witch so we can get more bleach a little more bleaching when we're doing our missions our uh our guild research missions that's going to be great the same thing here with our effective mission i put some points into this just to get that extra bonus effect i haven't really paid it much attention so i don't know how much of a benefit this is truly is i didn't put any points into the contaminated one because we get so many of them and as you go along you're going to get plenty of these anyway it's like i think the bleach is just so much more important so much more important in that aspect um you get extra gems from the goblin but fuck that because i don't like clicking the goblin in the first place and i know many of you don't like it but if you don't mind this is not a bad investment it'll pay for itself in the long run but uh no this uh i'm online all the time i don't think i'm ever offline much at all so no and that's kind of how we gauge that on the shop I do utilize a lot of special services when I'm running Battle Force, running Battle Force, or if I know I'm going to be away for a long time, I'm running a lot of special services because we're, our goal is to stay under 6K. So we got to do everything we can to stay under. And that's what you want to keep in mind when you're doing this, this kind of style of progression going forward so this is what's going on the account this is a few other things that you should be looking out for so you should be working towards what you should be trying to do at this point in time once you reach this level of progression we can look at our weapons for a bit just to see some of the level ups that we have because we're reaching max on a few things <clears throat> we even got a few transcended weapons this is a good one to tr transcend uh 
like i highly recommend transcending this for your eyes god because she's going to be utilizing this for a lot of your content to help not only her but the rest of your team perform well everywhere and you're going to get so much more damage out of it uh out of your team just from transcending that so that's something you should look towards doing if you get the opportunity to so i've been spending a lot of gems in our transcendent songs in our transcendence uh for our transcendence just to see if i can pull certain items especially when it comes to our karma weapons as far as karma weapons go we've been focusing hardcore into pool because pool is a staple for making your team perform well we've been focusing in on our drip and i believe our warrior as well and our karma weapons because they are the are, are some of our main units and some of the other ones that we'll be using later on we're going to be start we want to be working towards that uh in the near future not the biggest the biggest thing yet we still gotta get there <clears throat> we still gotta get there oh yeah something else that is critically important before i go that is important that i that probably haven't said that i should have said earlier save your resource you see this currency all this stuff because this stuff is rare save them your pvp coins stack those stack those because you're going to need those to get your character max power up for certain for certain characters weapons let's look at like uh our instance you can see on her collection effect you have character max power up this is my biggest recommendation is for you to level this because it's hard to get it it's hard to come by and the weapons themselves since they come on bless since they come on bless legendaries and bless karmas for the most part you want to stack those there we've been stacking our high purity karma not using that either because we want to use those on certain blessed karma weapons especially for whoever we're going to use as our main as our main damage dealer we're going to want to use that for them and possibly for characters that have max character power up on their weapons as well like uh warrior here on his new moon so that's one thing that you want to pay, pay attention to or look towards your power up stones don't really matter as much you're going to go through as much as essence as possible to get to that point as far as our subjugation coins we're stacking those as well because we only want to focus in on the prize that's going to be most important whenever we transcend our prize we want to be able to focus all of our subjugation on that because it costs nine thousand of them and they hard to come by you don't get many of them so we want to stack those and we want to save up our most important currencies for these factors and um as far as this currency for the treasures that one doesn't really matter as much you, that one doesn't really matter as much it's still things that we're looking and focusing on per se but like you can use that one a little more sparingly because you can farm that up relatively quick it's just the pvp currency and the subjugation currency those are hard to come back so you want to stack those stack those so you ultimately sure of who you love and who you building and what you're doing so i hope you have enjoyed this and um really learned something new and if you did make sure you smash that like button if you didn't, then there is a button for you guys as well. Join our Discord where you can get some more information and things like that. We can talk about a few things. And if uh, there is a video about something when you come there because you haven't watched any of our previous videos on this channel, uh, <clears throat> we will redirect you here so you can come back here and watch some of these videos here. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn those post notifications on so you can be the first to see my content when it goes live, people. And this is your host, a gamer dude, 2088, and I will see you next time. Um, deuces.